Bro lost all respect for you. That's okay, man. I don't really care. If you lose respect for me over Call of Duty, then yeah, I don't need your respect. In fact, I think I'm better off without it. Griffin, present an actual argument. Okay, here's my actual argument. You're a fucking mouth-breathing retard if you're looking to a Call of Duty game to be an accurate representation of World War II. Or any video game for that matter. There you go. I mean, it must be completely unheard of that people want a World War II experience in a World War II game. If not, why call it a World War II game whatsoever? If not, why call it a World War II game whatsoever? They got your ass on camera! You niggas ain't got me in no fucking camera. This is the clearest video I've ever seen! This is the most HD shit ever! This is 4K! How did they get you in 4K?! That ain't me. What's going on everybody? It's me Tony Nikki here once again back bringing you guys another video and today we're going to be taking a look once again at a few more, you know, of the footage from Griffin's, you know, Cod Vanguard Simpin Disaster Stream, the one that I covered the video on just two days ago, people. So we're going to be taking a look at a few more of the clips from the video of him breaking down and simping and getting triggered over, you know, Ackman calling out a uh, call of cod vanguard you know in his darn review and saying that the game is completely unfinished broken and is a terrible product of a cod game you know and griffin getting triggered over it so what happened was you know that griffin if you don't know who's a commentary channel similar to leafy is here had recently had a stream where he was freaking getting triggered over Ackman's review video of cod vanguard you know and I made a video criticizing Griffin, you know, for coming up with some really dumb points of him trying to defend uh, Cod Vanguard being a terrible product of a Call of Duty game. And what we're going to be doing is, like I said, you know, is taking a few more of the clips from the live stream and reacting to some of it, you know, because I got some very good ones. This is the part where here where his chat was even roasting him for his terrible takes that he was coming up with over here trying to refute act man points and wasn't even coming up with anything good to say so if you guys are down for that you ready for that uh let's get into this one this video will not be as long as the one before that i did on griffin that was nearly an hour long video this one will not be that long so you know without with that being said you know me digressing and everything let's get into this vanguard's base weapon models look Amazing. So sleek, shiny, highly detailed, might be the best looking World War II guns I've ever seen. Until you start putting stuff on them. Who can fucking care? Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. In real life, you wouldn't be able to put um, that level of zoom scope on a Tommy machine gun. It would affect the accuracy so badly that you wouldn't really be able to... Sh like, shut the fuck... Dude, this type of shit is beyond fucking corny. It's a video game. No one fucking cares if they didn't have a drum mag in World War II for a fucking pistol. And guess what, Griffin? No one would care if this freaking Call of Duty wasn't advertising itself as being the most realistic and immersive take on a World War II setting ever in COD history, you absolute freaking brainlit. Maybe if the director of Sledgehammer wasn't advertising as that, people wouldn't really care that much about the immersiveness or realism or historical accuracy. You absolute brain dead, brainlit Neanderthal moron. Jesus Christ, dude. It's like you can't read between the fine lines. Instead, you got on your freaking rose-tinted Call of Duty simp glasses that just freaking blind you to all types of actual legitimate criticism and stuff. And you just go, oh my God, dude, you just hate the game or whatever. <laughs> You're just a freaking idiot. Oh my God, man. Just shut up. Just, you know, just consume the product and don't ask questions, dude. Like, come on, man. Give them your money. If you want realism, go play some fucking war simulator and nerd the fuck out. No one cares about that shit in Call of Duty. Holy fuck. Alright, we'll pause there. There's just gonna be a lot of pained wincing going on. Yeah, dude, it's, it's gonna physically pain me to see a gun with a scope that didn't exist yet. Like, shut the f- This is the corniest motherfucker on planet Earth, bro. 
touch some fucking grass, you absolute loser. Please, touch some grass. I think in this review, wow, where to start. So this is clearly somewhere in a past life, a Browning BAR M1918 oh A2. You can tell what from are they the gonna do it guides, too? even if all the other features have been altered by some sadistic maniac. The Egyptian slash East German slash Polish-esque AK wire folding buttstock makes me cry a little inside. God, I think this is a Garand. What have they done to you? I can hear John Cam Conscious Garand revolving in his grave. <laughs> Reddit chuckles, r slash weaponry. I love how Griffin sits over here and gets triggered over this guy that he immediately sees calling out the weapons attachments and everything, talking about how ridiculous and stuff that they look, and immediately just goes, ha ha ha, Redditor moment, oh my god, this guy's a fucking Redditor, without even doing any actual goddamn research, you know, because Griffin doesn't actually really ever do any research when it comes to game development or anything like that, you know, or when it comes to anyone of importance, all he does is just make stupid jokes, you know, and then doesn't come up with any actual ways to review a person's argument and stuff. Because if he did actually do research, he'd know that this guy right here on the screen is a freaking, like, he's like a historian on, like, weapons and everything. He does research on them and all that. Like, Jesus Christ, Griffin, dude, man. Like, know your fucking facts, bro. Dude, sit here and just immediately call someone a Redditor who knows what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> Redditor moment. Like, your joke wasn't even fucking funny, bro. But this is, like, what Griffin does. This is, like, Leafy is here type of humor, except 30 times worse. Holy fuck, dude. This is such a neckbeard fedora tip moment. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude. I bet the guy who made this gun is turning over in his grave. Holy fuck, man. I, I just could only imagine being this sad that you look for realism in a fucking COD game. <laughs> Maybe the fucking director of Call of Duty Vanguard shouldn't have advertised this darn game as being, you know, a freaking immersive and realistic experience and take on World War II. You know, where you get to experience the breathtaking moments that define the World War II and its darn history surrounding it, man. Like, come the fuck on, Griffin, bro. Oh my god, dude. You shouldn't be playing COD games. You're looking for realism. No shit, bro. But they still had a sense of realism to this and immersion. I wouldn't say Call of Duty games have exactly been entirely realistic or at least not too realistic to a sense. But when it comes to immersion, at least the older fucking titles like Black Ops 2 and Below, they absolutely nailed that shit. Like, come on, man. No COD game recently has really been all that immersive except like COD, Cold War, Modern Warfare 2019, you know, and shit, man. But Vanguard and, like, Black Ops 3 and stuff like that, hell fucking no, dude. And that's what people are looking for. It's not even really about the realism, in a sense. It's about the historical accuracy and also the immersion, because that's how they advertise the damn game. They advertise it as being immersive, accurate, and a realistic take on the World War II setting. Like, come the fuck on, Griffin. Jesus Christ, dude, the simping is out of control, bro. Just admit that the game is objectively freaking bad and is in a terrible state, man. Like, come on. Probably more efficiently than this drum mag revolves. <laughs> this is why I think Vanguard should have gone for an alternate reality World War II setting. Because then they could do all of this and it would make sense. It wouldn't feel out of place. Yeah, what is with these sites, dude? What? It, tell me. Someone tell me what these sites are all about. I need answers. What are they about? They're red dot sites, bro. They've been in almost every single Call of Duty game to ever exist. This is not what my grandpa told me about World War II. Like, have... Wow, dude, your grandpa didn't tell you about Call of Fucking Duty and the con... Grandpa, I think you're full of shit, dude. Why the fuck didn't you mention Victor Reznov planting the Soviet flag on top of the Nazi Capitol building, you fucking lying piece of shit? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, my lord, dude. Jesus fucking Christ, yo. The cringe-ass goddamn humor once again, Griffin, in the stupid little freaking voiceover or whatever that you're trying to do, man. Like, come on, bro. 
just fucking stop it already you're not even coming up with any good points man that's what you do yo you don't never come up with no good points to refute act man's arguments or nothing like that yo it's not that's not even the damn point that act man is trying to come up with dude there was no freaking red dot sites in world war one or world war two bro like jesus christ man you talking about some oh ooh, you tell me oh, dude, the red dot site that's been in every call of duty game ever like no the fuck it hasn't bro it has not been in freaking call of duty finest hour has been in especially not call of duty fucking world at war which hint hint is also a take on the world war setting as well in fact if i'm not mistaken wasn't freaking world at war a take on a world war ii setting it didn't even have no red dot sites in it oh i don't know maybe because the game was trying to balance a little bit of realism with the fucking setting because if you're gonna put yourself in the setting of something how about you actually freaking make people feel immersive and do things that are accurate to that setting but vanguard doesn't give a fuck about that it doesn't at all that's the point that he's coming up with griffin man is that it's basing itself in a world war ii setting and yet it doesn't even have things that are from world war ii in it it has jesus christ man, my fucking head hurts explaining actual facts to this guy let's just move on bro oh my god oh jesus christ bro this is sad it's fucking cod dude it's literally Call of Duty. Having red dot sights. Uh, ex excuse me? And pause again there because we have one of the- Grandpa, what the fuck do you mean that you didn't have 25 magazines of fully loaded ammunition on you? And when you walked over a dead body, 16 more appeared in your fucking backpack. You're full of shit. Oh my god. Dude, it's fucking cod these heinous optical sights. <laughs> I'm not sure what it looks like. It's tiny. I mean, we can barely make optical sights as with a field of- Bruh lost all respect for you. That's okay, man. I don't really care. ...view like this now, so we certainly didn't have them in the 1940s. Okay, so now that I've established- If you lose respect for me over Call of Duty, then yeah, I don't need your respect. Establish Vanguard's lack of In fact, I think I'm better off without it. Identity. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. This dude is hella triggered, bro. What a fucking man child. This dude is over here just so freaking triggered and heated right now that his favorite game that he spent a hundred hours into is getting absolutely ass blasted and roasted people and he's getting criticized as well in the chat for it i love how that guy said i lost all respect for you griffin like jesus christ yo and griffin's acting like it's not bothering him dude is so mad just look at the chat right now it's absolutely freaking hilarious man look at this yo chill out griffin you're acting like the redditor now that's right Griffin, let those tears fly. Catch the L with both hands. Griffin, no need to get triggered, man. Imagine being Griffin and being this triggered and sipping for Vanguard. Griffin moment. Oh, my Lord. Griffin getting triggered over a generic freaking game. Oh, my Lord. This is absolutely hilarious, man. His chat is absolutely roasting him. Imagine having your own subscribers and viewers turn on you like this, bro. On your own live stream because of your horrible takes. Truly sad, Griffin. ...in style. Let's check the gameplay. There is a certain amount of fun you can get playing Vanguard if you're new to the franchise and have nothing better to play. Griffin, present an actual argument. Okay, here's my actual argument. You're a fucking mouth-breathing retard if you're looking to a Call of Duty game to be an accurate representation of World War II. Or any video game for that matter. There you go. Hmm. That's a really interesting take that you came up with there, Griffin. I sure hope that this statement that you made right here won't come back to bite you in the ass later, you know, and completely be a contradictory statement to something that you've made in the past. I mean, it must be completely unheard of that people want a World War II experience in a World War II game. If not, why call it a World War II game whatsoever? Oh. Well then, uh... You know what? I don't even need to fucking say anything. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> this guy must actually be Verlissify's damn cousin or something. It should be obvious at this point. There is an actual argument. Debate me on that.
please. There is no debate to such a ridiculous and dumbass fucking statement, Griffin. If a game is advertised as a realistic or immersive or, you know, freaking historically accurate fucking take on something, then that's exactly what I expect to get from the game when it's put out, you absolute moron. Also, I love how hypocritical you are of your own darn statement that you've made in the past in a different video that you made before. Like, Jesus Christ, man, where did this Griffin go? Times have changed, I swear to you, man. But this is ridiculous, you know? Times may have changed, Griffin, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't keep that same energy. So how about you stand by what you said in the past, Griffin, and stop being such a hypocritical, freaking toxic little Activision and COD simp. My exact same complaints about Cold War looking and feeling identical to Modern Warfare are true here. It's the same shit, different disc. This is basically a World War II skin for Modern Warfare. It's the same World War II weapons you've used a hundred times before, with the same mechanics. I guess now you can blind fire, but it's pretty pointless. They added a few new perks post-launch, which is nice, but besides that, everything is stuff you've seen before. Same kill streaks perks same attachments it's the same game do what ghost did with the perk system i don't care just switch it up for using insults means you already lost where'd you hear that one dude twitter congrats man i can fucking parrot a bunch of bullshit little talking points that i hear on the internet too ah there we go again griffin classic man are you taking a page out of relicify's book insult my audience when they say something that i don't really agree with you know instead of coming up with actual good points to refute stuff oh boy man i just love it griffin you gotta love that toxicity right for god's sake now at its core the gameplay is you know it's playable there's some crazy movement it's a lot more fast paced than modern warfare and cold war but the thing that killed this game for me in less than two days is the complete lack of any innovation. I made this video on Halo 5 like five years ago, and it should not be relevant. Why is there this stunning lack of variety at release every- What? A stunning lack of variety. So, how many game modes does this Vanguard have? Like, eight? Nine? I don't fucking know. But let's just go with eight. That means there are 24 variants of the game modes in Vanguard on day one. With two times the normal amount of launch maps. The fuck do you mean there's not variety in this game? You literally can play every single map on eight different game modes. And then each of those eight different game modes can be played in three different pacing modes. That's a fuck. Like, what type of variety are you looking for at that point? Like, the game has a shit ton of guns. It has a bunch of maps. It has a decent amount of game modes. And every single one of those game modes has three different variants to it. What do you mean there's a lack of variety? Like, what else do you need in that situation? Like, I'm genuinely kind of curious about that. Like, what massive amount of, like, variety could be added from there on out? Love how you ignore the fact that Ackman clearly just said in his video at release, you know, like when Vanguard dropped, it didn't have that much content or variety, which it really fucking didn't, Griffin. And just because you got 28 game modes or something doesn't mean they're all that fleshed out or even good. It's quantity over quality, Griffin. Like, Jesus Christ, man. How much more can you sit here and defend this game? Like, just because you have 28 game modes or something doesn't mean that they're all that good, man. Like, come on, dude. I'd rather have freaking 14 game modes, you know, and have pretty much nearly all of them be extremely dang good instead of 28 game modes and have all of them be completely freaking mid and somewhat fun to play at times. Like, do you guys get what I'm saying right here, man? Like, it's it's for you to focus on the quality of the aspect instead of just focusing on shoveling as much stuff into this game as you can without even uh, patching it out or, you know, like, freaking... Not patching it out, fleshing it out and making sure and playtesting it and seeing if it's even, like, good or worth it or anything, man. Like, he over here trying to justify his purchase of spending $70 on this game. 
and you can't even you can't even come up with good points to defend it, man. This is the same guy who sat here last year and said that COD Vanguard was his favorite game of 2021. His he said it was the best game of 2021 and said that any other game was absolute crap compared to it. He said that every other AAA game was garbage compared to Call of Duty Vanguard. And then afterwards in that same community post, he said, cope with it. Yeah, so that shows you the mentality of this person right here. It's basically, oh yeah, man, my game is better than your game. And there's nothing you can say about it because if you say you don't like my game, then I'm just going to sit here and freaking insult you for it. Like I told you, man, rules for D, but not for me. Like, it's okay for you to think that COD Vanguard is your favorite game ever or your favorite game of 2021, favorite game of 2022, favorite whatever, okay? Doesn't matter. But that doesn't that doesn't give you the right to sit here and just insult others, you know, because they like a game different from you. If you like Call of Duty Vanguard, that's fine. You don't have to sit here and criticize other people's games for it and be like, your game is trash compared to my darn game or whatever. Like, just go about your day and enjoy what you like, man. But no, you got an ego to you, so you got to sit here and flaunt everything about what you like and criticize others for what they like and what they don't like. So let's see, Prince stick figure with D2, motherfucker forgot it's an alternate universe version of World War II. Bro, I don't even care about that. It's COD. Like, if you're looking for a Call of Duty game to be realistic or a representation of history, you're probably one of the motherfuckers that falls into the boat of thinking that Assassin's Creed is historically accurate. I'm just throwing that out there. Shiki with the 15, to be honest, I don't think... It's his fault. He's just doing doing his job. He's a weapon expert. It's just GameSpot. These kind of videos is easy for them. Yeah, I guess. I still think it's fucking corny as fuck. Soy Boy with the two realism in video games doesn't work. Yeah, it's terrible. Who the fuck wants to get shot once in a game and die? Okay, you know what, Griffin? I'm convinced your head is full of nothing but hot damn air, bro. That's not what we mean by add realism to a video game. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. You're coming up with some really stupid and simplistic takes for the so-called idea of freaking realism that you believe it is. Like, Jesus Christ, dude, man. Oh, my God. Sounds awful. <laughs> And you never fucking respawn. Like, all right, man, just picked up this new World War II simulator. Oh, fuck, I got shot, died. Well, game over. Time to get rid of it. Like, I can never play it again because I'm fucking dead. Or, oh, shit, dude, my gun fucking jammed. <laughs> or, oh, fuck, dude, my magazines fell out of my backpack when I had to duck for cover. Or, shit, I lost sight in my left eye when I got hit with shrapnel. <laughs> like... Nobody wants a realistic experience when they're playing a fucking video game. You just want to play to have fun. And people playing Call of Duty are not looking for realism or a historically accurate setting. They're just looking to have some fucking fun with that shit. You know what? I'm done with the fucking video. I'm in this shit right here, man. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. Griffin and his god darn little small little simpy fanboys that he got with him defending this god darn terrible call of duty game yo this is the exact reason you know why we keep getting shit shoveled out every single year in the form of call of duty madden and other sports games and assassin's creed and a few others man like this is literally that, that exact same example of don't ask questions just consume product and then get excited for next product but anyway, with that being said, people, you know what? I'm going to end this thing right here, man. This video don't need to be any longer than this. My head is already hurting. Ooh, boy. I, I am going to go take a rest now after shoveling through some of this, you know, ridiculous and completely brain dead takes that this guy had to come up with. So you guys already know what to do, you know, because your boy worked his ass off on this. Hit that like button, subscribe, you know, turn the notifications on, you know, by hitting the bell icon for all the new viewers and everything. Do that as well. I appreciate all you guys' support. We are almost at 500 subs on this channel. I uh, love this little community that we got growing on here, and I'm con going to continue to keep growing it, and I hope you guys stick with me. So with that being said, this is Mitsuni Nika. I'll see you guys in the next one, and I'm out. I've been counting down the days, counting down the days to get out. 
I've been looking for a way, looking for a way from this town. And you're too far away, you're too far away to help me now. So I'm counting down the days, counting down the days to get out. Cause I need to leave.